stressless camping and we're going to do a little mod to the old travel trailer today. Uh, it was one of those mods that Peggy and I have talked about a couple of times and uh, kind of hap had to happen now. Uh, what happened is we are going to install this. An RV lock. I bought it from rvlock.com and it gives you the digital keypad so you don't need keys. Also the fancy remote and of course keys. So now why are we doing this? I'm going to replace our lock here. Um, <laughs> we left the keys to the trailer on the bumper of the truck and then took the truck somewhere. So I have no keys to my travel trailer. And that's why we are going to install this lock the way we're going to install this lock. I have my safety glasses on and I'm gonna have to drill out the lock in the trailer. <laughs> so uh, anyway, let's, let's see how easy it is to put in the RV lock from rvlock.com. And uh, here we go. Let's commence to drilling. I was, I was very fortunate, of course, you know, I, having worked in the RV industry, I have the magic key that opens just about any RV door out there. Uh, one of the things, by the way, did you know that there are keys that can open almost any RV door. It's a, it's a fairly universal key. All the RV dealers have them and I still have one. So uh, what that does is it opens this top lock. So the latch lock, that master key will open this and you go to an RV park and a lot of people can just get in. Also your baggage door locks, if you have one of the standard baggage doors uh, or baggage door locks, uh, that same RV key can open that. Uh, I have an RV key that can open that too. So not only are we getting convenience of push buttons uh, and a remote, and you know, I love anything that's remote controlled, but also probably some additional security. So the master key that I have will not open the lower lock or the deadbolt. And that's why that's the only one I have to drill out today. The, the handle is unlocked right now so well here we go hmm. ah. well that that was really easy a little bit of drilling now obviously if you're in a trailer park, if you're in an RV park, and you hear brrrr, and some idiots drilling out a lock, you're probably gonna call the police or at least the camp post, right? But anyway, that only took me a, a few moments. Uh, nothing difficult at all. Now, even easier, let's install our RV lock. Okay, so now that we're in the trailer, uh, let's take this old lock out, shall we? Oops. Oh, hope I don't need that. Huh. See? My wife says I should get a handle on things. Well, now I've got a handle to get on things. This is getting sillier and sillier. Okay, time to open the RV lock and see what we got, right? Okay, so here we are, our RV lock. Inside are the, is a key number, sticker, some paper stuff and how to install the RV lock. Here's the fancy dancy remote control. Ooh, look, they, and <laughs> a few moments ago, I lost some of the screws. Fortunately, they're, they're good. They, they include the entire enchilada. So, and then this is the magic device right here. Feels nice and substantial. 
Ta-da! Obviously a top and bottom piece. I bet you this is the part that goes outside with the doot doot doots on it. And then this is the part that goes inside. So ladies, I'm gonna do something that hopefully you're sitting down. I'm gonna go and read the instructions. No, I, I'm actually not kidding. I'm, I'm really gonna do it. Seriously. Okay, I did it. I read the instructions, right? Women are like, nah, -uh. yeah, seriously. Uh, if this were any easier, I could get our desert tortoise to do it. Seriously. So uh, check, check it out. Um, all you have to do is put the, replace the RV lock mechanism where the old one went and it, it fits as if it were factory. So it's fantastic. Uh, then you put on this front plate here, which I'm about to do. See that just snaps on right there and then I'm gonna do a little screwing. Now it says you connect this back plate, which is the inside door handle, uh, to the connector here and you should hear a little beep. And if you hear a little beep, you're in business. So I'm sure we should make sure that the deadbolt is kind of lined up properly. Let's listen for the beep. Shh. Beep, success. I should probably take a picture of what the key code is for this, shouldn't I? So I'll be right back. I'm gonna need the camera as a camera okay so check this out by the way when you order your rv lock from rvlock.com uh there is a left side and a right side version depending on where your door is right so now let's put this side in and see if you can watch me you see me put in the wires line up the screws We'll keep testing it all along here just to make sure you know one time we locked almost my whole family in the car and it took us like two hours to get them out it was insane make sure you're all screwed up nice and tight Look that, handle, deadbolt, <laughs> handle. You have to make those silly noises or it's just not a proper installation. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little programming and uh, I'll be back, I'll show you the results of this. Hey, thanks for watching, by the way. Well, we have success on lockdown. Oh yeah, the puns just to keep it coming. So uh, obviously door latches just fine. Uh, this works and push button. Um, one of the things I've read online is people have complained about that. Um, you can easily shut that thing up. Um, so it's not a permanent thing. Also, people have said, what happens if your batteries die? Hello. Just don't leave these on the back of your pick -em up truck or you will be drilling out this lock. Well, actually, no, because you have the code. And of course, it's fully programmable. Uh, you can program the code to whatever you'd like it to be. Now it's all locked up. So there you go. I would recommend this highly. You're not gonna have the same key as everyone else in the campground. Uh, you're not gonna have to take your keys. You can just come in and push the buttons and whatever your code is and you're in your trailer. And uh, it fits as well as factory. So I was very impressed with the build quality, with the fit and finish, and it was really easy, even for a guy like me. 
So, well, stay safe. Happy camping, everybody. And uh, we'll see you at StresslessCamping.com. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.